I want to give you my thoughts on uh, Regatta OS Linux. Yes, I'm making the switch over to uh, Linux here. Uh, first, uh, I'm not uh, a terminal coder. I'm just a basic dude. Retired old dude. You know, bad eyesight. I just like that. I like to play games. Uh, so this is not going to be a technical <laughs> review. Opening up terminals and uh, losing the basic computer dude or gal. Uh, I want to. I've been uh, on Windows 10. I'm holding out. You know, I I want to play games. Um, so I had to stick with the uh, Windows 10. Well, improvements, now I don't have to. This is very easy to install. Anybody basic computer skills that can put an ISO together and uh, on a USB, plug it in, you know. Select your drive, you know, just be basic skills. I call it It's The whole process there is very easy so I Haven't changed the screen This is the coloring on the toolbar. I like that nice black this is how it comes here. One change I made was display settings. Right click, you go into here. Uh, I did the resolution. Uh, then I went to global scaling and I bumped that up to 125. Let's so my old eyes can see this stuff a little better. That's all I've done. Um, then you go over here. Uh, this is where you download your programs. We got an OS store. Um, oh, let's see where's installed programs. I'll show you what I I installed any desk. Uh, that's. I have a friend that uh, knows Linux very well. He does my server. Uh, I have an Arc Survival Evolved server. He put that together for me. Uh, so I have that. He can log in any of my computers and work on them. Uh, Discord, you know, we all like to chat together. That's pre-installed, pre-installed. Uh, I have an EVGA 1070 graphics card so I downloaded the driver for that there's one for AMD also if uh, OPS studio that's for recording this uh, videos and live streaming uh, proton up I downloaded that that will get your Windows games uh, streaming very nicely of course, Steam. That was pre-installed. That's pre-installed. Uh, that's all you need for gaming. Uh, you know, there's a lot of lot of programs you can uh, install here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me uh, pick uh, something here. Show you how easy. You pick pick the program and you click install. Um, of course, once it's installed, if you want to uninstall it, there'll be a button here that says uninstall. That's that's great for us uh, uh, users that, uh, that don't have the coding knowledge. Um, then we have uh, this section here, gaming access. Uh, 
different gaming uh, companies, uh, then you can uh, uh, install your games, uh, play your games from this section. Um, I only have Steam. Uh, so I can go to Steam right here. I already have it opened up. This will take me to Steam. Uh, so that will kind of eliminate uh, all your icons and things if you don't like icons. Uh, I like, you know, I'm, I'm so used to having icons on the toolbar. So I got the Steam OBS and Firefox down there. Um, so that's the only changes I have made to this whole system here. Everything is uh, as it came. Uh, I'm not going to think of anything here that uh, I know. Well, like the internet, you know, you detected it. I didn't have to do any settings on the internet. So OBS that I use, uh, that's your uh, video player. Um, this is my, uh, one of my videos. You see it, it uh, loads, they load up quickly. Uh, let me hit another one here, Let's see. Well, come on. <laughs> Here we go. They play where they play very well. I have the sound turned off on these. This is my channel. Uh, I as you can see, I I do mostly uh, games. And uh, you know, uh, some solar. I like solar. Uh, you know if. You're looking for a different oh, eight, eight or 15 belts. Uh, there's my solar list. There's 28 there. Oh, my tortoise. That little guy. I like him. Um, I do some arc. Um, yep, Borderlands there. So if you like videos, uh, um, if you're watching this video, if you like gaming stuff, you might check out my playlist. Uh, so you come over to Steam, you appear, uh, No Man's Sky, this is a Windows game, so to play that, or any Windows game, you go to Settings, Steam Play. Click that button. Proton Experimental. That's already set. There's different versions you can play with. Uh, whatever runs best for you. That works great for me. So I'm going to leave it like that. And we'll jump into the game here. That's, that's a total setup of getting gaming on uh, Regat OS. I don't have to go in and... Well, most of the distros, KDE, which is this based off of. Sorry for the sound, but I can't turn that off. <laughs> you have to go... You don't like the design of it. You, you can go in and personalize. You know, I want this. I want this. And I've done all that, you know. Make different sizes, icons, and things like that. Well, this, I didn't have to do it. It's basically how I like it. All I did is enlarge everything because I got bad eyes, you know. You got to make everything bigger. So one global setting up to 125 I was I was done you can't get any more simpler than that 
they have a long uh, load in here. It seems to stop a little bit and, and go. That's not lag from your computer. It does it on Windows also. It does it on uh, Linux. It's just the way the game is. And uh, we have landed in the base. Uh, I mean, the controls, instant jump, instant walk. You know, I, uh, there's not a, any lag at all. Let me do a teleport. kind of showing you uh, things that uh, may give you lag in, in certain games. Beautiful graphics. This is better than Windows. This I'm very, very impressed with. And we're loaded in. Let me hop in the ship. I'll take you outside, too. Look at the detail on that ship, though. I'm just blown away by how great the graphics are. I have an EVGA 1070 graphics card. AMD... 1700 CPU, uh, 32 gigs of memory. It was the greatest when I built this computer, but it's not the greatest anymore. So I'm not showing you something on some high powered uh, computer. But I, I just, I can say, I'm amazed how well the graphics are compared to what the, I mean, Windows was horrible, but this is definitely better. There's one of the planets, uh, we can scan that, uh, yeah. If you're looking for a nice space game, I'm going to check this one out. I bring my freighter in here. There's my freighter. I got to show off my freighter. This is kind of a, well, it is a very hard to get freighter. I know it's, it doesn't. It doesn't say a whole much about uh, Linux, but look at the detail on it. I just, the graph, I'm just a man. I, I, I'm going to go on about the graphics because it's awesome. Let's go down to the uh, planet here. Get away. And I'll do some warping. Like instant warp. Hopefully this is, well, it's an ice planet, so it's not going to be beautiful. Find me a, a landing spot here. I said getting out, I'm you know, I'm trying to show you the, the things that may lag you. I'm 
kill him. He's a he'll try to kill me. Uh that's just amazing. Look at the little wormy things. <laughs> Let me get back in my ship. Uh Go back up to the station. That's a good log out point. It's safer, I guess. Oh, you know, right, we can jump to another, uh, uh, jump to another system here. It's another area that could Could give you some lag. Give you another. What the graphics look like? How good it is? I just dock here and I get out of the game. You can see how smooth this place. A screenshot from yesterday. Well, that's it. You want a simple to install program? It's made for gaming. It's set up for gaming. You don't have to do a bunch of crap. Um, download Steam. Download your driver. Download Pro, um, Proton. Of course, I need OBS to... Uh, make these videos and I'm working you know I'm it's working it's working great so um uh, definitely check this one out um because of this uh, I am able to switch off of the windows thank you all for watching <laughs> like game and stuff solar style check out my other videos uh, mostly gaming and uh, I'd like to hear your comments down here in uh, about this video can it get your ideas what you think of it all right thank you all for watching <laughs>